Community Voices proudly brought to you by Namdeb Diamond Corporation. Good today, better tomorrow. Ik is bijna ondervreden. Ik is bijna ondervreden, mijn zuster. Terwijl ik hier zit. Ik heb daar nou niks mee. Enige tijd moet ik hier vanaf gaan trekken. Ik weet niet waar ik zal gaan. Ik is er weer naar bijna ondervreden, mijn zuster. Nou, Mr. Penda Shilemba. Als hij nou met die. Jeff de Losper en No Gawasis claim that their lives are a living nightmare since they bought the air from a certain Elvina Magdalena Janse. They are now being threatened with eviction notices by a man whom they once housed as he is allegedly also the owner of the air. <laughs> Toen koop ons bij die vrouwtje hier die erf met de 40 tijden rand. Nadat ons nou hier komt getrek het en ze het ons ook uit getrek, toen komt die man, die Asipala, Asipala of wat weet die, hier die ene, hy het hier komt gekom, terwijl ons hier die plekkie nou opgeslaan het. Toen komt die man en toen kom hy, toen kom soek hy moes nou een hier plekkie wat ek ma nou as Sipin opzet. Toen zei ik, nee, ja, ja. Nee, ons, nou, on, ons doen moest niet, hij goed niet. Die en is nou onze uh, hissie wat ons nou opbouw. Toen kom moest hij man na, uh, um, wat is het, 14, 15, 16, na 17, kom hij met de twee policemannen. Die man wat hier komt, bij onze renplek, ja. kom gezoek het, kom hij hier met de twee policemannen. We received these two eviction orders, which was written <laughs> from the deputy sheriff. And we ask, ah, how did they get our information about this? But Mr. Awanga was the one who gave our names and everything, the details of the years and those things, it was in his file. Instead of solving that problem for us, he gave our information to the deputy sheriff or the lawyer of Mr. Shilemba. But after this letter, I go on and go to Namibian newspaper. And I give it in because of the false documents Mr. Shilemba have delivered to me. He delivered this letter from city of Winduk. As the newspaper was saying, there is no local, nothing has been signed. I go back to Mr. Leon in Katatura municipality area, whereby Mr. Leon have made a copies of this document, and he said he will put it in the file. But this document never appeared to be the one which was made a copy by Mr. Leon. Never stand up. But I want a solution from city of Wintu. As Mr. Awanga have said, if they have solution, he must not sit there and send for me this. Even if we call this guy now, he will maybe not answer you. Because we try to call him. And we don't have even rest. After this, we have come out of the, of the newspaper. They were gunshots. They were coming cars which doesn't have number plates. Hmm? How can you identify it? I reported to the police. I reported to the councillor. And you know what was the councillor's solution? <laughs> I must break down the shark, put it somewhere where I must put it, and go to Komastal tent. Evan Scraver and State Governor, City of Windu Councillors, were on the ground to assess the situation and find an amicable solution for the family and the alleged new owner. This is the only letter that was there in the document that says that Rebecca was the one she declared. So because she declared, there should be a contract <coughs> with Rebecca and the city. If there is no contract with, the, with Rebecca and city, what it then means is that Rebecca then, either Rebecca had done something illegal or Ashipala, because who does the plot belong to? That, 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 is, that, that is our main issue. 
Now, the reason why I called Ashi Ashipala was for him to, to please advise us when he is coming to Vintuk so that we can talk. He said he's not going, he doesn't know when, but he would advise us when he's going to come. He still has not gotten back to me. He doesn't know when, but he would advise us when he's going to come. He still has not gotten back to me. Um, what, I, what I advised them was, do not, do, not, do not stress or panic at the stage of time, because what we want to do is we want to get them and Mr. Ashipala together, and then ask Mr. Ashipala, OK, you urgently want this plot if it belongs to you, but there's an investigation that going. Can, you, can we just have the stay on the, the eviction notice, and then we deal with the matter? Such events. It's just a clear example, and it's, it's very evident that on a daily basis, our people are really suffering. This is, this is, this is reality. Mm -hmm. Campaign season is gone. We are not campaigning here. This is, this is what we must deal with on a daily basis. That is why we are here as, as elected councillors, or uh, elected by the people, to be here of them. So, uh, and it should be, it should be noted on record that we are not here. To, 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 to obstruct justice. Mm. Uh, uh, we are not here to stop uh, mm. uh, your program and what you came here for, which is the eviction order from, from the sheriff. Mm. We are not here to stop that. It should mm. be noted. But as elected officials from the city of Vendu, we came to, 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 to assess the situation and to familiarize ourselves with what we have and what we are dealing with. And as you can see, there should be something that we can do and that we must do mm. because we can't just we can't just uh, be okay. No leader should be okay with people being evicted. Nobody. It's winter. We are, we, are, we are at the peak of winter. Look there. Young children, infants there. And now we must put these ch uh, children on the street. How do we go uh, uh, to sleep at night as elected people? Today on One is pleading with Elvina Magdalena Yance to contact the following numbers 081-34-63-983 or Today on One at 081-166-1838 or visit the Comastal Constituency Council office and report herself. This is an urgent matter that can only be solved once the parties meet and find an amicable solution. Community Voices proudly brought to you by Namdeb Diamond Corporation. Good today, better tomorrow.